If you go by what you see in the media, all black people in Britain live in tough council estates, living very precarious lives, surrounded by guns, drugs and gangs. But of course this, this isn't the case for all of us and in this video I'd like to investigate whether there is a significant black middle class here in the United Kingdom. Now when it comes to household income, 23% of black households are in the top two quintiles when you're looking at income distribution and that compares unfavorably to almost all other ethnic groups. So amongst white British people, 42% of households are in the, the top two quintiles, 45% of Indian households and a whopping 48% of Chinese households are in the top two income quintiles by income. Only Pakistani and Bengali households have a lower proportion of them in the top two quintiles at 10% and 15%. Another way of looking at income is to look at the median hourly salary of, of people based on their ethnicity. And this is interesting because you, you will find that black people on average earn a lower hourly salary than white people and, and, and some other groups. However, it's only a small difference. It's only around about 5% lower. Now, when we're talking about class, when you talk about social class, assets is really the thing you want to look at because income is fine, income is, is important, you need income, but if that income is not translating into assets, then it's not really translating into any wealth. And this is where the figures become extremely stark where black people are concerned. Now the London School of Economics have got a superb research paper here which I'm going to quote from to really bring out the stark reality of whether or not there's a black middle class here in, in Britain or whether or not it's very big. We'll look at net worth and again you've got mean and you've got median. I'm going to look at median net worth because the problem with mean averages is that outliers can skew the figures. You might say, if you, say you've got four percent of people who earn millions of pounds a year but if you include them in the average, add everyone together in the group and average it out, those outliers are going to massively skew it and make give you a false impression. So it's better to look at median. Net worth means all of the assets that someone has minus all of the liabilities. And when you look at median net worth, look at these figures. So the media, median net worth of white British people was £140,000. For Indians, it's one hundred and 59,000 pounds. For Pakistanis, 47,000 pounds. For uh, Asian other, it's 69,000 pounds. For black Caribbeans, the median net worth of a black Caribbean person here in the UK is just 1,944 pounds. And if you think that's shocking, look at the figures for both black Africans and Bangladeshis is zero. Of course, that is largely a function of the fact that black people are much less likely to own homes because most people's wealth, most people's assets, most people's worth, net worth, financial worth is in the property that they own. And most of us black people do not own a home. Here again, we see the uh, income and just to underscore the fact that although black African and black Caribbean incomes are lower than white incomes and other, other incomes of other groups, it's not that much lower. So the median monthly income of a white British person is £1,600. For Indians it's about the same, for Pakistanis it's £1,000, for Beng Bangladeshis it's £1,150, for Black Caribbeans it's £1,500 just under. So that's not that much lower than than the other groups. For Black Africans it's £1,300, so it's a bit lower, but these aren't like enormous gaps. We're not talking like, these aren't the same kinds of gaps between, as you have between the net worth. So what's, what's the issue here? What's going on? Why is it that black people have such low to zero net worth? The answer in my opinion comes when we look at the household type. If you look at the household type, i.e. what kinds of households do black people live in? This is where the reality comes in. 39% of Caribbean households and 32% of black African households are lone adults. That means there's just one adult living in that house. Now I know some people will say, well, well, no, that's just on the books. Some people don't put the other adult on the books because they're, you know, they don't want to get taxed or whatever, or they're getting benefits. Sure, I'm sure that's the case for, for some, some folks, but I see this around me. I see this around me in people that I know. I see that a lot of our people, particularly, unfortunately, a lot of those who are indeed earning 
a high salary are living on their own. 40% of Black Caribbeans are living on their own as an adult and 32% of Black Africans. And then you consider lone parent households. 15% of Caribbean and 18% of African households are single parent households. About half of all Black households are consist of a single adult. That means that you have a single income. That means there's no, there's no money left to be accumulating assets. There's no money left to buy a house. There's no money left to invest. There's no money left for any of that stuff because too many of our people are living on their own, either just on their own or living on their own with their children. This is the root of the problem, in my opinion. So to answer the question straight up, is there a black middle class or is there a significant black middle class here in the UK? In my opinion, no, there isn't. We have high earning individuals. There are some high earning individual black people for sure. There are some individual black people who have assets. Absolutely, absolutely for sure. But individuals do not create community and you need to pool your resources. We need to pool our income. We need to pool our assets in order to generate group wealth. And this is not, this is what's not happening amongst black people here in the UK. And we, as a result, there is no such thing as a significant black middle class class here in the UK. And the root to solve this problem, the, the way, the only way that we can solve this problem, in my opinion, is A, to start working together via coupling up and marrying or and or by more of our or more of these individual well to do black people and others coming together, pooling our resources and strategizing together, thinking long term, not just thinking, oh, me one, let me live in my house and I'll have a good life on my own. B, do you not care about creating community? Do you not care about creating group wealth? Do you, are you not bothered about these things? For those of you who are watching this and who are inclined to want to generate some group wealth and well-being, hopefully these videos that I'm doing are going to inspire you and encourage you and give you ideas. Maybe even in the comments, you know, let's have some let's have some strategizing in the comments. And but more importantly, in your in your friend circles and in your families, in your families, please take these conversations, start having these conversations and start thinking long term about how you, how we can start to pool our resources together in order for the betterment of ourselves, our families and for our community. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure that you, if you like what you see and you're liking these conversations, please do like, please do subscribe and please do especially let me know your comments in the, in the chat. There's a video right here which you might find follows on nicely from this particular video and then YouTube might suggest a video to you here, which they think that you might be interested in too. Take care and I'll see you next time.